Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13 The Show, and we've got some Kevin Millar coming your way right here. Red Sox, gosh, look at that, 52 and 28. We are on fire. Nobody's really been able to challenge us here in the American League East, which is so weird to be able to say here, because I think of the AL East as you know, one of the toughest divisions you're going to find in Major League Baseball. When you got somebody to clear lead like this, that kind of that really does tell you the kind of quality team that they're fielding. So, you know, I've got Steven Strasburg, Kevin Millar as pitchers. This one pops straight up here. Kevin Millar will get a chance to be able to get an out. Psych! Turned around at the last second to make the catch. So I guess I was trying to stress out the entire team and stuff like that. Um... But I do have a little news. I did go ahead and pre-order the PlayStation 4 tonight, which made me really nervous. Forking over $400. Whew. That's not something I do every single day. Do it about every couple weeks and stuff like that, you know, for, like, my mortgage and my bills and stuff like that. But, you know, that type of purchase is not something I'm able to do too often. Now, um, I don't know if you guys heard, but Xbox One did go ahead and change some of their policies and stuff that they'd been receiving a lot of flack for. And I'm not going to lie, I was one of the people here who really was not happy about some of the stuff that they had announced. One of them was a uh, policy that Xbox was going to have was, you know, that it was it had a check-in online like once per day and stuff like that. Um, which, for me, it would not be a problem because, you know, I've always got the internet running at my house, but... I live in Nebraska. I know there's a lot of people who live in some very rural areas where internet, as you know, some of us know it here in the more urban areas, you know, doesn't exist. I mean, the really op only options are like satellite internet or something like you know Verizon Wireless or just some other type of cellular type of signal that they can get. So that's not a viable option. So I'm like, that's kind of crappy for those people. So I didn't like that. Uh, and then if something happens where my internet goes down or something, I shouldn't be penalized where I can't even play a game without you know, some type of internet connection. So not cool with that. So they did go ahead and reverse that. And the other thing that they had gotten a lot of flack for was their used game policy. So it was going to be up to the developers. I think that was one thing that a lot of people kind of misunderstood it wasn't necessarily xbox saying all the games are going to be like this they were going to leave it up to the developers where they could either have a limit on how many times a disc could be played on other uh, other consoles how many or like there could be a fee to play it on somebody else's xbox you know just all this crazy stuff which would be very different from what it is today you know you can go into a GameStop or you know wherever you go to buy used games and that's it you just go home pop it in your xbox or playstation and, and you're good so, since they did go ahead and reverse the the policy on that, that did make the Xbox something that was a little bit more desirable for me. But um, because it is $100 more right now, I decided to start off with the PlayStation 4. And, of course, i got to be playing this show. So, PlayStation 4 is absolutely mandatory. I'll be getting an Xbox down the road. Don't get me wrong. You know, there are some games like Halo and stuff like that that I know are going to be Xbox exclusive that I definitely do want to play. Uh, especially here on this channel. So you'll be seeing that. Um, now, uh, along with pre-ordering the PlayStation 4, I did pre-order NCAA 14, which um, I got that on the PlayStation 3 and Battlefield 4. So very excited about Battlefield 4. So much, and I went ahead and I purchased Battlefield 3 on the PlayStation 3. So I know I have it on the Xbox, and I haven't played it in a long time on the Xbox. But I want to get used to first-person shooters on the PlayStation 4. Uh, so I figure let's get used to it on the PlayStation 3 before I go ahead and do that. So that's why I you know, got that. I was thinking about maybe posting it a little bit on the channel. I don't know. Let's see what happens with that. And then I also, uh, you know, I do Gamefly every once in a while. So I had like a $5 coupon towards any game that I wanted and I saw Medal of Honor Warfighter was $9.99 so I got it basically for five bucks and I thought I mean the way that I justified that one because I know I'm not going to play it that much at all but I was thinking to myself um, you know but Battlefront is going to be made by the studio who was doing Medal of Honor might be kind of good to get, uh, get used to that game as well on a, on a PlayStation so I don't know 
got a lot of games that are coming my way here pretty soon, which I'm excited about, but uh, definitely a lot of money that's going to be spent on that as well. So, uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys kind of know the update on that one. Gosh, another fastball inside for the strikeout. I got to make sure I remember this here. 100, 101 mile an hour fastballs inside. It's going to be super tough to be able to hit, not to mention just hitting a knuckleball. But uh, let's see what else. Oh, so Tom and I, we were thinking about going ahead and starting a series with the two of us. And I did want to run it past you guys because you guys have always known that your input, what you guys want to see and things like that are definitely important to me and weigh heavily on any decision that I make here regarding the channel or any type of project that I do. So we thought it would be a great opportunity here to be able to help some people get exposure because we get a lot of messages. It's like, hey, you should give me a shout out and stuff like that. And honestly, if I were to go ahead and give shout outs to everybody who messaged me, I probably wouldn't have that much time to actually be able to do commentary at all because it'd be like, hey, go watch this person, go watch this person. And I think it kind of goes ahead and it also reduces my credibility because I'd be seen more as... Um, you know, somebody who's advertising all these other channels rather than, you know, focusing on my own content. So that being said, I mean, we did want to do something here that could help other people with their channels while at the same time providing something a little bit different. So what we wanted to do is to get or the idea right now that we are considering. I don't want to make it sound like that this is definitely 100 percent going to happen because there's a chance, of course, that it may not. But we did want to give uh, people an opportunity to go ahead and submit their videos to us. And then Tom and I, we go ahead and we do the commentary over it, which I think would be cool because you don't see too many uh, commentators who you know kind of or, or you don't see two commentators commentating on the same game at the same time in like an actual broadcast type of setting. So that's kind of what we want to do. And we're not going to make it exclusive to baseball or anything like that. You know, we'll do some football, some soccer, some base, uh, basketball, things like that. So I did want to get your guys' input on, you know, is that something that you guys would think would be really interesting? Because like I said, Tom and I, we want to do something, uh, you know, collaborate on a particular project or on a particular series. And the last one that we did uh, was a while ago. You know, we tried to do Let's Talk Baseball or, or In the Bullpen is what we ended up calling it here when it was the two of us. And, you know, a lot of it's kind of been my bad here because I've been very busy lately with stuff, so I haven't been able to keep, uh, you know, keep tabs on what's going on baseball as much as I would like to. So I don't feel too confident on being able to talk about stuff because I'm afraid that there would be moments where I'd, you know, be making stuff up or saying something uninformed and stuff like that. And I would never want to do that to you guys. Uh, I always want to be credible. I always want to know what I'm talking about. So for the sake of, you know, me being a good commentator and sticking to what I believe here of not, you know, really talking about something unless I, you know, feel informed on it here, we, we kind of haven't done that one. So that is my bad entirely. And then we also had that Minecraft series that we were doing a while ago that got voted off the island basically when i put out the survey what you guys would want to see and what you don't want to see a lot of people are just like uh get rid of minecraft so i get that a lot like hey post minecraft and stuff like that but uh, since a good majority of people did not want to see that and with the amount of time that i already invest in new videos anyway i mean i did want to make sure that you know what i do put together is something that people are going to want to watch you know, every once in a while, I'll do something just for me to kind of keep myself, you know, excited about making videos because, you know, when I had first started, it took me about six months and I really started getting bored with making videos because I was doing the same thing all the time. And because of that, you know, I was really getting to the point here where I was just like, man, I don't even want to make videos anymore. It seemed more like a chore. It's not fun. So... I know that there are some games that I post that you guys are like, why are you even doing that? Nobody watches it. It's more for me than anything else to kind of keep me going because if I don't post stuff like that, I'm going to get to the point again where I'm just like, you know what? I don't think I want to do this anymore. So kind of tough to talk about here. You know, I know for some of you thinking, oh man, Dunbar's not going to make videos anymore or something. That's just crazy to think about. And honestly, it's kind of been on my mind a little bit lately here. You know, about the time that would come where I'd have to make a video saying, guys, I'm not doing videos anymore. It's weird to think about. But um, Oh, for the next little bit here, videos may be kind of scarce. 
Uh, they may not be. I don't know. There is a job opening at work that I'm going to be preparing myself for. So, you know, the the especially like this weekend and stuff, I'm going to be investing uh, quite a bit of time and getting uh, a lot of stuff together, some material, working on questions and answers and stuff like that for an interview here. For a position that I've wanted a long time, I mean, those of you who've been around the channel quite a bit kind of have heard me talk about a particular position at work that I want to go for, and it's a temporary position in the department that I want to be in, but if I, I do that and I do it well and I really make a name for myself, then this could open up a lot of opportunities for me to be able to have the job that I want in the future. So I'm sure you guys can understand here that while gaming and the channel is absolutely important to me, this is not my full-time job. I got to be focusing on my full-time job because at the end of the day, that's what puts food on my table. That's what pays the mortgage for my house and stuff like that. And well, I love you guys and everything. Gotta gotta be worried about that type of stuff. So uh, I'll definitely be doing everything I can to be able to post as often as I can, which is why I say you know you guys might not even see a slowdown at all or anything like that. And this is definitely the time where I you know, would want to do this the least because it's during the summer months that the most people you know come to the channel and you know kind of discover what I put together here. So. You know, I kind of know that what I'm doing here is is gonna gonna hurt the channel more than anything else. But I don't know. Maybe the day will come where this will be my full time job. I've always thought about that. You know, this. You know, that maybe a day would come here where I make more money doing this than I do actually working full time. And you know, I know that there's a lot of commentators who actually make more money than I do. Uh, and by full time job, just by putting videos together. So who knows? Maybe one day I'll. You know, keep sticking with it here. You got to do something that'll kind of keep growing the channel and stuff like that. So uh, I should put another T-shirt contest together sometime soon. I just just came into my head out of nowhere here. But anyway, uh, so two to nothing here in this game, as you guys have been able to notice. We got a runner on first, able to get the strike out right here. So maybe we'll be able to get out of the seventh without any type of problems whatsoever. But uh, I don't expect me to be able to stay in this game for too much longer. I mean, I do have the energy, but if, you know, there's another hit or anything, well, like this one, um, I don't think they're going to go ahead and keep me in. I think this is one of those times where it would be smart to go with a reliever. All right, so it looks like that, that is exactly what happened, so I called that one just right, and I don't mind coming out of the game right now. There are some moments where I'm just like, you know, yes, you need to take me out, please. Or why are you taking me out right now? This is not one of those times. This is, you know, a moment here where if I was playing the game, I definitely would have made the change. So I did have a great, uh, you know, almost seven innings here in this game of play. Got a number of strikeouts. Really kind of realized the power of throwing a 100-mile-an-hour fastball inside everybody and how difficult it is for them to be able to hit it. So... Uh, able to get out of that inning without any runs. Only allowed two hits the entire time that I was in. So, all right, here we are, bottom of the eighth. Gosh, nothing. Top of the ninth. A home run right here from Mike Napoli. I'll make it three to nothing. Middlebrooks Ortiz hits a home run. So, yeah, five to nothing. I definitely should be able to come away with the win right here. So, ooh. Jose Bautista with the home run. So it's good we were able to get those runs when we did. 5-2 is going to be the uh, score in this game. So the Red Sox end up winning over the Blue Jays. I was worried that we weren't going to be able to do that. 8 Ks over 6.2 innings pitch or 6 and 2 thirds innings pitch. Um, yeah, only two hits, one walk. Not bad at all. So thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. Remember, more of this to come a little bit later on. So... Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. Just check out the description below. And like I said, let me know what you guys think about a series like that, if that would be any cool here. but Or if that would be cool, if you guys would find any interest in that. But thanks again for watching. I sure do appreciate it. And as always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.